Do you want to have very cheap but the best full body estimation software that money can buy currently on Steam? Well, let me introduce you to Standable. Now look, before I start this video, I just want to let you know that this video is not sponsored or affiliated by Standable whatsoever. I just do this because this product is really good. And to be honest, this is probably the best full body estimation software right now. And it's not expensive at all. It's only $20. In my opinion, I think Standable is completely worth the $20 you pay for it. Now, of course, Standable already has a quick start guide, which you can view down in the description. But if you want a honest review of Standable and want to know if it's actually worth it, then this video will be for you. So let's start off with what Standable is. Standable is a program called Full Body Estimation. It's not full body tracking. Full body tracking uses actual tracking points to correctly track the parts on your body so you can actually, you know, properly kick and move your legs similar to how you do in real life. Full body estimation uses all kinds of different tracking points like your controller and your headset, but since it doesn't actually have any tracking points itself, it uses estimated guesses based on a bunch of science stuff, to be honest. I don't know. And this could be really good for people who don't have full body trackers like myself. As as you know, in VR chat, a lot of people do have full body tracking. It's one of the best ways to express yourself inside of VR. But with standable full body estimation, you can actually walk in real life, sit or prone and even roll around and it'll look way more natural than it would with regular VR chat. It just adds a whole nother layer of immersion and also just makes it look more natural to other players and is even good for recording and streaming. Now, if you recall, Virtual Desktop recently put out an update similar to Standable called uh, Forward Tracking Data, which allowed you to emulate Steam VR trackers using actual upper body tracking um, because in the Quest 3, you can actually, uh, it actually will track your upper body. So like your elbows, you can actually move your elbows and stuff. It used actual cameras on your headset to track that stuff. And it did allow you to walk in VR and sit properly, but it wasn't the greatest. It was kind of clunky and sometimes you wouldn't even be able to lay back. It was just not the greatest experience, but it was free inside of the app as an update. So honestly, there was no reason to complain about it because it really wasn't awful. But Standable just released its brand new 2.0 update, which overhauls the entire thing and adds so much more stuff and made it much more natural and fluent. Flu fluent? Fluid, which includes these things. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, I've got Standable up and running. I've already calibrated it, and we're now gonna test the capabilities of Standable. So the first thing we're gonna do is to start walking around, and I hope I don't hit anything. We're gonna walk around my house and see if my legs properly follow the turns, see if they properly follow while I'm walking. As you can see, I just walked around and my legs actually followed and it looked kind of natural. All right, so I saw that lunging was actually a uh, thing that you could do and it would look natural. So we're gonna go ahead and try and lunge real quick. There, now we're calibrated. So we're gonna go ahead and try and lunge. As you can see, it looks natural for the most part. And it doesn't look bad at all. I'm gonna try and lunge backward. Lunge to the side. Dude, that actually looked really good. Now there is a seat estimation, so I'm gonna bring my chair here. So when I sit, it should put me in a seat animation. Like that. You see I'm now in a seat. So if I turn my body, my legs kind of stay locked in place. Kind of like a seat. And it looks pretty good. That's actually really good. What the hell? And if I get up, my legs are back and I can start walking around side to side and whatnot. 
Now I adjusted the hip sway mount to show you that hip sway does in fact work when you're shifting your weight. So I'm going to go ahead and try and shift my weight. As you see my hip actually moves properly this way. If I shift my weight, it moves like that. So if I start shifting my weight, as you see the hips actually start moving. All right, now we're gonna actually try and sit down and see how that looks. So we're gonna try and sit down on the floor. And uh, as you see, we're crisscrossed. And I can actually adjust the settings here. So if I go into my desktop, I can actually customize the spread and the depth. So that way, when I sit, so that way when I sit, as you see, my legs are now fully out while I'm sitting on the ground here. I could change the spread so that way when I sit, my legs are crossed. And I can also swap the cross. So as you see, my other foot is now on top. I don't want that. Obviously, I can change how crossed I want it. And I could just make it legs out. And I can make my sit look like this with my legs forward, which looks really good. Or I can just have my legs crisscrossed like that. For me, I'm gonna put my sit like that. Cause I think that this is kind of how I sit in real life on the floor. Now we're gonna try and lay down. We're gonna try and lay down on the floor real quick and we're gonna see what happens. So I lay down. Oh. As you can see, my legs are forward. I'm gonna move back so you can see that. As you can see, my legs are properly forward while I'm laying down, which I, it's awesome that Standable got this right because virtual desktop for me, I couldn't get it to lay the legs forward properly. And plus, it's nice to just be able to lay down and see your legs. This is good for people who like to sleep in VR, obviously. Now we're going to try and lay to our side, as you can see, as you can see, laying to our side works properly and it works really well. As you see, our legs are now to our sides like that. We're going to try and lay forward like that. As you can see, the legs lay forward properly while I'm laying down and we're going to swap to the other side like that, as you can see. We're laying properly the hip. As you see, we're laying properly on the ground and we're gonna switch back like that. It actually knows when you're laying properly, which is really cool. All right, so one of the things I saw was that they actually added it where you can lay and roll properly in VR and not have it look stupid. So I'm gonna do that now. Uh, enjoy the calming music while I roll around on my floor and hope nobody watches me. Hopefully that looked good and not make me look stupid. So yeah, standable is pretty good. It allows you to do all these kind of things which you would never be able to do without this stuff. I can even turn in place and my legs will kind of stay properly. As you can see, my legs will stay where they need to be according to my body. I can also, you can see my chest actually properly moves and it wouldn't look weird. So yeah, I think Standable is pretty worth it. So yeah, I think Standable is pretty worth it for the money. If you have $20 lying around and you wanna get a pretty cheap full body estimation software, that can do a lot of stuff and be easily customizable, then I highly suggest you buy Standable. Do I think right now it's better than Virtual Desktop's uh, tracker emulation? Yes, I do. It has more options, it feels better, and I think, in my opinion, it looks smoother. It could do more things, and honestly, I think it's better. But if you currently own Virtual Desktop and got it as a free update, then honestly, it's not bad for it being a, just a new update. But like I said, if you have $20 lying around, I highly suggest you buy Standable. There's no reason not to. It's very, very worth it. Trust me. Anyways, that's about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.
video. Bye!